That's what it feels like. You're trying to suffocate him for her own benefit. You're trying to suffocate him for her own benefit. It's I don't think that she sees human beings. She sees tools and she just reaches right through their boundaries into their brain, tells them what to think, twists the knobs, tells and flips the switches. You That's... do this. Reaches right through their boundaries into their brain, tells them what to think. So this video, what's missing? through marriage counseling, through parenting, through thousands of hours of therapy, the other. Thousands of hours of therapy. So people who are trying to say, Will Smith needs to get more therapy to stop him from slapping. He's already had thousands of hours. And he's getting therapy from Dr. Romani. Is Narcissism that expert. from Dr. Romani? <laughs> the person always goes first, right? Okay. Seek first to understand mm -hmm. and then to be understood. Mm -hmm. And I made my little, my little phrase, love is, is L-U-V. Listen, understand, mm -hmm. validate the parts that you agree with. Mm -hmm. you're, you're dead. If, if you try to go first when someone's in... Um, an emotional space. So I have trained myself and I have the firm belief that you have to be able to withstand someone else's truth. That's the punch. Yeah. You have to be able to withstand someone else's truth. What does that mean? <laughs> and why? Why well, is someone's threat truth threatening to you? <laughs> Well, if he's surrounded by, by toxic people with toxic truths that, who are shoving them down his throat, it's going to be uncomfortable for him to yes, tolerate if he's those. been programmed to accept people's exclamation points as his problem, then it feels like he has to absorb it, right? But if Dr. Romani is giving this advice and he's interpreted you have to withstand the punch of somebody else's truth. I have trained myself and I have the firm belief that you have to be able to withstand someone else's truth. That's the. That's for boundaries. <laughs> somebody else's truth <laughs> is not a life threat. It's not a punch at, sh at you. That's adding. There's no space for two truths. There's no space for two perspectives. Or there's only, truth only comes from beliefs. It's not shared reality that has a constant search for truth. Bunch. Yes, absolutely. And the key there is that when you can hold space and bear witness, mm -hmm. two less hurt people yes, are absolutely. going back out into the world absolutely. and less likely to do more damage themselves. Absolutely. That right there yeah. was everything. Was everything. Oh, fucking kumbaya. <laughs> everything. What was the everything? Was everything. Everything was when you hold space and you take the punch of somebody else's truth, two less people harm in the world or something. What was the exact wording? What she's saying yes, is, absolutely. You know, for, and the key, so if you can just be more codependent, everyone's going to be a lot happier. Yes. Yeah. But the conditional of this is... There is that when you can hold space and bear witness... So when you will hold space and bear witness, do love, listen, understand, and validate, what is the result? That's the cause. That's the argument. What's the result? What's the promise? Mm -hmm. Two less hurt people yes, are going back out into the world absolutely. and less likely to do more damage themselves. Absolutely. Two less about... hurt people. Well, then how did Will Smith smack the shit out of Chris Rock? <laughs> how about Will Smith just looks after himself and tells other people to fuck off? That would be a good start, I think. Yes. But he's been told to hold space and say love, listen, understand, and validate. What's missing in L-U-V? 
him. Yes, he's invisible. There's nothing about expressing <laughs> building a bridge. It's only about validating what he's hearing and then assuming the other person is going to reciprocate or something. But it's very vague. It's a, it's a self-sabotage, just like what he did with Chris Rock was, was probably a part of self-sabotage. And there's the emphasis. That is final. This is like dog training. Look at those eyes. It was everything. It was everything. It's everything. So after thousands of hours of therapy with Dr. Ramani and other people, we have what happened on Sunday at the Oscars. Only once, though. Only one slap. <laughs> I added a fact. So he's been trained, and he's been trained to do uh, this one. Or is it? Think of it this way. Under conditions of Ooh. no escape and perpetual ongoing abuse, I shrink and shrink and dissociate and dissociate. I'm going to invisibilize myself. I'm going to shrink back and shrink back and shrink back. And then I'm going to go not just into my cave, but into a, a, a crack in the cave at the very, very back. And that's now my authentic self. Shrunken, invisible, and hidden, and kept away from the real world. That's part one. Or this video. You kind of invisibilize yourself. I didn't make the rules of reality, it just is. You actually have to fight for space. Your somatic energy levels, like how high energy and alive and vital are you? And, and then where do we think we are? And then where are we? I mean, even I have this issue sometimes where even I've been Richard walking Brennan. around and, and I'll be like, I swear to God, I must be on a low energy day and I didn't know it because I speak and people don't, don't hear me. Well, people seem to walk through me as though I'm invisible and I'm like, I'm a fairly large piece of meat. I can't believe that you didn't see me filling up the pathway. <laughs> but it's maybe we have um, moments where we go in, our energy goes back inward, which is what a codependent would do. They would put it back into themselves so they're not imposing anything on others. And you kind of invisibilize yourself. It's entirely possible. Um, the only solution for this that I would comfortably recommend and confidently recommend is that you must create a stronger sense of self. You have to have a strong sense of self and that strong sense of self must know the moral boundary between right and wrong. If you don't give yourself permission to live now, who's going to give you permission to live? Oh, that's other stuff. But L-U-V, listen, understand, validate. There's no Will Smith. There's no I. There's, There's no, no I. I. There's no self. By default, he's still invisibilizing himself. And by default, the video of Dr. Romney's overexpression is also invis invisibilizing Will. Through marriage count. That <laughs> was everything. Is that seeing Will? Or is that invisibilizing him with the injunction? You must follow this demand. I'm not sure that I would ever pay a therapist who gave me that face. Ever. <laughs> I would pay. To well, this pay. is yeah. more obvious. No, I am a codependent. I would pay, but I would never go back. <laughs> oh, no, I'd pay, I'd slap her, and then I'd never go back. This is a more obvious... Uh, Pushing, exclamation point. Yeah, see, isn't this an exclamation point? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a question, it's not an invite, it's not a conversation, it's just a finality. Final. It's a command, it's a command. Command, see? So when you hear you commands... Can almost, you can almost feel her reaching in and and being a succubus to his power and to his 
um, I can't quite explain it, but that's what it feels like. It's almost like she's trying to suffocate him for her own benefit. It's absolutely a celebrity. revolting. A celebrity. She knows all the celebrities. I, I don't think that she sees human beings around her. I think she sees tools and she just reaches right through their boundaries into their brain and tells them what to think, like twists the knobs tells and flips the switches. Like, you that do is. this. You <laughs> but she doesn't have a message. All she's doing is, is she doesn't have a contrary message. She doesn't have any understanding. She just has, she just sees this and she's just, she's exacerbating a problem. She's I, making the problem worse. Yeah, she's, it's just bloody awful. See how she makes the problem worse in this example. We'll slowly get to Will Smith's uh, core wound. The entire basis for my self-esteem was foundationally dependent upon whether or not my woman was happy. My self-image was inexorably bound up in my woman's opinion and approval of me. Women bring out rage in you like nothing else. Yeah. So, it's so Women bring out rage in you like nothing else. Yeah. So like That's nothing so else. That's not a helpful phrase even. Like it's just... But look at what is sitting around the table. God. <laughs> I don't see many men around that table. I only see oh, women. There's is a there few. a man there? I think there might be one. There's a few, but listen to the question, women. Like nothing else. Yeah. So it's like nothing else is an add-on. But like nothing else is a judgment. Anything That's judgment. Goes. Anything that's judgment. Anything that's goes. judgment. Anything that's goes. judgment. You can't say that either. 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 Like nothing else. And then after she says this big judgment, then she throws in the question. So it's a loaded exclamation point with a hollow question because <laughs> it's uh, almost rhetorical. And she yeah, knows well, how Will's going to answer for... it. Now feed me back what I want to hear. But I think Chantal's comment in the comments is really good. It looks like he's sitting there at the Spanish Inquisition. Well, I've embellished that, but <laughs> he's there. He's sitting there, and it is, he's, on a, he's on trial for being Will Smith. Oh, That's a nice observation on body language. Let's see. Like, what's that about? See, so the question, what's that about? It's not even it's very specific. Women bring out your rage like nothing else. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> How do you answer that? <laughs> Even if you knew. And she knows his backstory, so she should be able to try to help guide him to some sort of skill. Instead, he ambushes him. And he does this. No idea. Yeah, like, oh, no. I'm like, <laughs> just like, there's more women on that side of the table. Help, help, help. help. Yeah. <laughs> you heard the question, help. Do I look like I have an answer for that? <laughs> Do I look like I have an answer for that? No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. So who looks like the expert and who looks like an idiot? Is the therapist supposed to be the one taking the spotlight and making the client look like an idiot? Or is the therapist supposed, supposed, supposed to be somewhat in the background? <laughs> Showing off her work. Look, I've helped him. No, look, I'm just going to ambush him and make him look like he needs me forever. That's what... <laughs> it's adding punishment to him. So it's, it's torture. She's torturing him. And she knows his problem. This isn't like... Yeah, he's, of course. She's following the book. He's had sessions with her, he knows all the detail, and she sets him up to just look stupid. Yeah, she squishes down whatever his problem is, and then his issues squirt out somewhere else, and something else pops up, and then she can say, oh, well, you fucked up, you didn't, you didn't really listen. You know, <laughs> it's, it, it never ends. I look like I have an answer for that. <laughs> Do I look like I have an answer for that? No idea. <laughs> 
That's a human reaction. That looks like it's honest, right? I don't see any deception in his eyeball. Like, there. <laughs> that looks like confusion to me. That looks... It's not a per performance. So this video probably came earlier. So Dr. Ram Ramanani knows this part, even though this was a small part of the video, so she might have forgot it. That kind of disapproval from women, central greatest pain in my life. Gotcha. Female disapproval. She said gotcha, which means I understand. Or doesn't mean it's true, but at least she's saying I, I gotcha. <laughs> I think that's what gotcha means, right? <laughs> because of my dynamic with my mother, mm -hmm. female disapproval with my mother. Mm -hmm. Guess what her, his mother's job is? School board administrator. Trina? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Trina's just a principal. This is administrator. That, Even that's a higher point. level of management, top-down judgment. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Female well, disapproval with my mother. Mm -hmm. you now, as a little boy, my father beat my mother, mm -hmm. and I couldn't protect her. Right. I'm arguing that's the straw man scapegoat story, because the father got drunk, acted out, punched the mother. It's like, but here it's like he's... That. He's telling like his story and she's on stage about her persona. She's not even listening. She's like, you right. Let me look at my notes. Yeah. Right. Next. What are we going to talk about next? Like it, she's a it has nothing to do. Yes. Yeah. It has nothing to do with him. She's not listening. She's not participating. She's not asking any questions. It's just, ah, she's horrible. <laughs> she's going to be doing exclamation points. <laughs> Watch it come. It's coming. Right. Female disapproval with my mother mm -hmm. is in like unbearable and j my body can't handle it. J my body can't handle it. Does that look authentic? He's being vulnerable. His body breaks down just at the thought of it. He's almost a dis little dissociated and regressed right there, right? Female disapproval with my mother, mm -hmm. my body can't handle it. Well, I'm hearing that female disapproval, female disapproval, female disapproval. Spot the body language? What is this micro expression? He's looking away. I believe that's called female disapproval. Totally looking dismissing down. him. Yeah, she's yes, looking so. down at him. Like, looking down oh and away. And away. Like he doesn't exist. Yes. My God, this is a therapist. Yes, Dr. Romani. No, this is a person. This is an internet personality. This is not a therapist. Wow. She's a she's a she's a, trash she is a bag, practicing yeah. Trash yeah, bag I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> with a doctor's degree. <laughs> yeah, are doing sure? disapproval. After she does disapproval, she relabels. No, relabels I, I mean, it. I've had like at least a couple of therapists who were this bad that I've, that I've seen. So it's not that surprising that she has a doctorate. Um, they hand them out to whoever pays and gets a good grade. So, yeah, <laughs> I think she's got an intellectual understanding of the topic, but has absolutely no emotional empathy or depth. Yes. She has no ability to be a human being. And she's also she's also snagged herself a celebrity client, and um, here we are. But I'm, we'll see what happens. She's been quiet after the slapping incident, I believe. <laughs> oh, it's only a week. Yeah, but... that's because she's busy with her sure. clients. <laughs> disapproval, a female disapproval, is the loss of love. Well, absolutely, and that. So she relabels female disapproval to loss of love. Which, what does that mean? So when you're ever in trouble or emotional or somebody else is emotional, you can just say, relabel it and call it love. Yeah, she just invalidated the assault that he receives from women. Invalidated his core wound or relabeled it. Mm -hmm. uh, 
stretch some emotionality out of it with loss of love. And then after he, she did that, since she, she gave the no, absolutely and disapproval, he chased for approval <laughs> like a good boy. This is like the therapeutic equivalent of the doctors who killed what uh, Prince and uh, mm -hmm. you know Michael Jackson, and th these are these are <laughs> the they're the yes That's men who good. like. Fuck with the That's intellect perfect. of the wealthy and the and the the vulnerable. Yep. But he's still alive, so we can get future case studies. Those people, they're dead. Yeah, until so they can't... fuck him up further, and he continue. Yeah. He does something really stupid. I hope he more so. A really good male therapist drops, divorces Jada, fucks Doctor Ramani off, and deals with this properly. That's my view. He's got fact, Jay, Jay Shetty. Shetty. The the spiritual yeah, coach I highly is recommend also visceral gravitas. <laughs> and that's, I mean, that's catastrophic, yeah. right? It's the loss of love. Yeah. What in your loss of love is catastrophic, right? <laughs> your life continues to trigger that unsafe feeling. It's the loss of love, because that's your wound, Will. That that. So then, catastrophic loss of love. That's your wound, which is also exclamation point. <laughs> How about if he tells her what his wound is? Where are the questions? Where are the questions? No, the only questions are loaded questions that are just mass of exclamation points, conclusions, demands, injunctions, no humanity, just... Yeah, right. Yeah. That's your, that's that is your absolutely my, my central wound female disapproval with my mother mm -hmm. my body can't handle it female disapproval with my mother mm -hmm. my body can't handle it female disapproval female disapproval female disapproval female disapproval my body can't handle it i don't think that she sees human beings around her i think she sees tools and she just reaches right through their boundaries into their brain and tells them what to think like twists the knobs tells and flips the switches you That's, do this. Tell people the what switches. to think. 